Welcome to Electron Online. Now that we understand and know how to solve quadratic equations, at least through the method of factoring, we're now also able to solve some word problems that we weren't able to solve before. Because before we had learned how to solve linear problems in algebra, now we're going to learn how to solve quadratic word problems. And our first example, just to give us an example, is the following. Find two numbers whose sum add up to 15 and whose product are equal to 50. Hmm. Let's see here. We're looking for two numbers. So let's use our general technique for solving word problems. Let's start out by saying let x equal, whoop, I got ahead of myself here. Let x equal the first number. Now, how would we express that second number? Well, we know that the sum equals 15, so that means that 15, the sum, minus the first number, must equal the second number. So we take the total sum of the two numbers, subtract the value of the first number, and we get the second number. So now we have the second number. Now we use the information about the product. We are told that the product equals 50, which means that x multiplied times 15 minus x, that's the product of the first and the second number, must equal to 50. And this looks like a quadratic equation. Now to make sure, we're going to multiply everything out, put everything on one side so that we have the general form that 0 equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So let's see if we can take this and make it look like that. So first we'll multiply out what's on the left side. So this gives us 15x minus x squared is equal to 50. And now if I move everything to the right side and set equal to 0, I end up with 0 equals a positive x squared, because the negative x squared becomes a positive. This becomes a minus 15x and plus 50. Now you can see that's clearly a quadratic equation. Now we can solve that by factoring. So we write this as 0 is equal to, we have x and x. Now notice if this is positive, and this is negative, that both numbers must be negative. When I multiply, I get a positive result. When I add, I get a negative result. But now I'm looking for two numbers whose sum equals minus 15 and whose product is equal to 50. So let's see here. How about 10 times 5? 10 times 5 is 50. If I make them both negative, a negative 5 times a negative 10 is positive 50, but I, I add them, I get negative 15, so a 5 and a 10. And so that means that either x minus 5 equals 0 or x minus 10 is equal to 0, which means that x must equal 5 or x is equal to 10. In this case, of course, those are the two solutions we're looking for. One number is 5, the other number is 10. When I multiply, I get 50. When I add, I get 15. And that is how it's done. 